He is known for setting the standards for ornithological art and naturalist depiction. He is recognized for being one of the most prolific American bird artists. His name is Louis Agassiz Fuertes. In the world of ornithology, one name stands out among the rest, Louis Agassiz Fuertes, an American artist and ornithologist who forever changed the way we depict and study birds. Born in 1874 in Ithaca, New York, Fuertes showed an early passion for art and nature. He honed his skills at Cornell University, where he studied under the guidance of renowned biologist and naturalist, John James Audubon. Fuertes's artistic talent and meticulous attention to detail set him apart. His illustrations captured the essence of each bird species with remarkable accuracy, making his work a valuable resource for scientists and bird enthusiasts alike. His contributions to ornithological art laid the foundation for the rigorous standards that are still followed today. But Fuertes's impact extended beyond his artwork. He was a dedicated field ornithologist, traveling across the United States and even venturing to distant lands like Cuba and Panama to study and document birds in their natural habitats. His first-hand observations and meticulous field notes provided valuable insights into avian behavior and migration patterns. Fuertes's legacy lives on in his countless illustrations and publications, which continue to inspire and educate generations of bird lovers. His unwavering passion for birds and his commitment to scientific accuracy have made him one of the most prolific American bird artists of all time. Louis Agassiz Fuertes's story is a testament to the power of art and observation in advancing our understanding of the natural world. Lewis, a talented ornithologist and artist, embarked on numerous expeditions and collaborations throughout his career. After completing his studies at Cornell University, he joined the renowned painter Abbott H. Thayer as an apprentice. Together, they ventured to Florida in 1898, marking Lewis's first expedition. The following year, he joined E. H. Harriman on the famous Harriman Alaska expedition, exploring the captivating Alaskan coastline. Driven by his passion for birds, Lewis traveled extensively across the United States and to various countries. His quest to study and document avian species took him to the Bahamas, Jamaica, Canada, Mexico, Colombia, and Ethiopia. During his time working with Frank Chapman at the American Museum of Natural History, Lewis contributed to field research, museum dioramas, and book illustrations. It was on a collecting expedition in Mexico that he made a remarkable discovery, an unidentified species of oriole. In honor of his friend, Chapman named it Icterus fuertesi, now known as Fuertes's Oriole. In 1904, Lewis married Margaret F. Sumner, and they started a family together. They had a son named Lewis Sumner and a daughter named Mary. Despite his busy life, Lewis also found time to share his knowledge and love for ornithology through lectures at Cornell University, where he regularly taught from 1923 onwards. His exceptional talent extended beyond observation and illustration as he possessed the remarkable ability to imitate bird songs, even recording a trial session for a Victor record in 1913. One of Lewis's most memorable expeditions took place in 1926-27 when he joined the Field Museum's Abyssinian expedition led by Wilfred Hudson Osgood. This journey yielded breathtaking watercolor paintings of birds and mammals, showcasing Lewis's artistic prowess and dedication to capturing the beauty of nature. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.